Hello year one. Uh, so today we're gonna we're doing our topic lesson for the week. Uh, now it, we are actually meant to be doing art and topic, but I don't have many art supplies, I'm afraid, uh, in my apartment. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a board game, okay? Um, this is a game that I used to play uh, when I was a child. Mm -hmm. Maybe your age, maybe a little bit older. Uh, but it's a really, it's quite a fun game. You can play it with your brothers and sisters, uh, your grandparents, your parents, okay? And it's also really good for helping us uh, with, our, with our maps and counting to 100, uh, which is one of the objectives for that you need to be able to do by the end of year one. So I'm, I'm quite excited to, to share it with you. Uh, but because it is, it is meant to be art this week, if you're working on any art projects at home, or if you have any pictures, or anything that's kind of related to art and design, um, you can send it to me, and I, I, I will be very uh, happy to, to look over it, okay? Uh, so I'm going to get started, I'm going to pause the video, and yeah, okay. All you need for this is some pens and pencils, scissors and some paper and at the end you might need a little bit of glue okay but don't worry if you don't have any okay you want uh so what you want to what you want to do now is just you need a piece of paper and a pencil now if you have a ruler that is amazing or but if you're like me and you don't have a ruler even though i was in school yesterday and i went to pick up supplies I forgot the ruler, okay? But if you don't have a ruler, don't worry. You can just use, I think I'm gonna use a thumb space to do my, to mark my lines, but you could just use two fingers. I think my thumb is probably about the same size as your fingers, okay? So I'm going to kind of, um, yeah, let me just see how this works. Let me just see if that's on the camera. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to, Kind of use my thumb as a marker. Okay, this is really awkward angle. I'm gonna have to stand up for this. Um, okay, right, so this is better. So you want to use your thumb as a marker, or for you, two fingers, and just mark it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, if you need your parents' help, um, I'd say just ask them, because <laughs> this might be a little bit little bit tricky, okay? Uh, and then, so you've done 10 this way, now we need to do 10 going this way, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. perfect. Now we're gonna go 10 this way, okay? So we're going in a, like a, we're making a square, essentially. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, 10. Now what you need to do as you need to join up the lines, okay? So from the opposite side. So this line will go all the way down and meet here. Uh, if you don't have a ruler, you can use a book, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the straight line of this book as a ruler, okay? So find something in your house. If you don't have a ruler, which has a straight line, okay? And then you kind of just join up The lines, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're going to do all the lines going this way and then you're going to switch. So when you've done all 10 and then you're going to start you're gonna to need to do these lines as well. So one, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, so then you join them up this way. And as you can see, we can start, we're starting to make squares, okay? So if you try that at home, uh, if, I know this could be a little bit tricky for you once, so make sure you ask your parents for some help with this part, okay? Okay, you won. So you should have something that looks like this. Uh, so there's 10 by 10, 10 times 10, we know is 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, say it with me. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, okay. So what I need you to do now, maybe use pencil. Uh, so if you make a mistake, you can rub it out. But just so it's a bit uh, clearer for the camera, I'm gonna use pen, okay? So now we're gonna write our numbers in. So we start with one in this box here, and then two, three, for all the way to 10. Okay, now, normally <clears throat> on a number grid, we would go 11, we'll go here. But because we're playing snakes and ladders and we need to follow the board around, we're gonna do 11 here, okay? So it goes 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, and then 21 will go here. So we're going this, we're going like this. Okay, all the way to 100. Okay, ta-da, this is what you should have. 1, all the way to 10, then we go this way, 11, to 20, 21, all the way to 30, and then if you do this and you ask your parents for a little bit of help, I'm sure they will, you have all the numbers from 1 all the way to 100, okay? So, this is the, the basics for our board game. Now is the fun part, okay? Now we need to create some snakes and ladders. Okay, you one. So once you've done that, now I want you to draw some snakes. Okay, I've done three. I've done a straight one. I've done a, sl a slivery one, and I've done a really small one. And I've also done some ladders. Okay, uh, and then you can also color yours in. You can do more than three. You can you could do five snakes and five ladders. Okay, I just done three for an example. Okay, so I've colored my snakes in. I've done a green one and a yellow, and then I've done one with patterns, okay? So maybe you could make some patterns on yours. Uh, and I've done my rad ladders red. Okay, so what you need to do now is get some scissors and cut them out. Okay, yeah, so you one, you should kind of have a, um, something that looks a bit like this, okay? So the idea of the game is you roll a dice, which I'm gonna show you how to make it. So say if you land on five on the dice, you start on one, you need a counter. So I'm going to use, I'm gonna use this as my counter, so this is me. So if I roll five, I go one, two, three, four, oh, five. You go up the ladder, okay. And it's the first one to get to a hundred. But if you land on a snake, you have to go down the snake and all the way back. Okay, so uh, have fun making this. Uh, you can make more snakes and ladders and also you can move them around, okay? Or you can stick them. Uh, so I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna quickly make a dice now. Uh, if you, if, so if you don't have a dice at home, you can play, okay.